What is up, Green is Not Nick Nation, and welcome back to another video. I got a Twitter DM about these mobile fantasy ads, and it's this channel, Eric1120, who will screen record and upload these ads to his channel. And this one's called Figure Fantasy Ad Number Two. And I'm thinking I'm just gonna watch some of these ads and see how much they make me want to play the game. So um we're gonna jump in fast. I feel like I have to say more, but I don't. Go check out the new episodes on Nick is Not Gaming. Link in the description. Go check it out. We're putting some fun stuff on there okay i don't know what to tell you i thought you're on a business trip i i miss you download figure fantasy now and you can get the limited skin pianist bunny girl what pianist bunny girl honey let me explain use the pack coupon lucky 20 okay <laughs> So the concept is that, oh my gosh, I always press the wrong button and it freaks me out. I try to press the button that switches it to my face cam and then I press the fart button and the boom button. Sorry, Bambi's in my face. I'm scrambled right now. Basically, the storyline is guy comes home, wife's cheating on him. He can tell the guy's back there. So instead of just going over there and pulling the curtain and being like, you're in there, he goes, download Figure Fantasy now and you'll get a free skin. And the guy comes out and he's like, I'll get a free skin. And then she's like, I can explain. So that should be the end of the ad because he found the guy that his wife is cheating on him with. But instead, he keeps going and he's like, use code blah, blah, blah. It's like, you already caught the guy. He's right there. 22 to also get 2 million coins and 3,000 diamonds, as well as epic pieces of equipment. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so there's other guys too. I see. So now he's just gonna continue going on. Seriously? Such a huge give back? Such a huge give back? Also, the hard cut there was very jarring. Seriously? Such a huge give back? Kissing, I listen i cut enter the pack coupon treasure 2022 to get 10 advanced blind boxes for free i've got dozens of limited heroes already what, what? how did you get so good it's because i opened 30 blind boxes at the beginning thanks to the open beta give back this commercial's a mess. All the music and the audio and stuff, it's so much. There are so many legendary characters that I just picked Kazooie Iwata, the one with the strongest battle power initially, and trained her. Then, trained I her. defeated the strongest boss of the earlier stages, Boss 5. I've got so many resources. And so many characters. <laughs> Figure fantasy! Double oh my down. gosh. No, come on. Okay, so that's figure fantasy number two. Listen, I mean, that was a funny ad. I, I like the premise, but it was pretty jarring. And obviously that app isn't the best. So, you know, it makes me wonder. Um, oh my gosh, she has a video called Rise of Kingdoms Terrible Ad number 106. How are there 106? This is 105. How many uploads does he have? I mean, he has 7 million views cumulative. I mean, oh man, he uploads a lot. So he just like records ads and just like does them. Let's see the most popular ones. Um, okay, I don't like any of these. I don't wanna, I, I wanna see some of these like, what is this horrible voice translator ad? Mommy, I love you. Let's play. <laughs> Yeah, that's really legit. I can totally see that one working out. Why does the kid's mouth move so... Oh, because they put it in reverse. That's why it looks so weird. He picked a clip where he's like talking a ton and he's like, what? That sounds like a cool idea for an ad. I mean, an app. No, yeah, that sounds like a cool idea for an ad. They should totally turn that into an ad. I'm interested to see how they make so many Rise of Kingdoms ads. I want to stick to like one type of thing. Like, where is the first figure fantasy ad? Because that's the one where I'm like, oh, they've done, oh, figure fa fantasy ad three, four. Okay, let's see the first one. Is Yuki okay? Is Yuki okay? What do you think? Do you think Kazooie Wata is okay? How about Ember? Is Ember okay? Kasumi Mako, Camille Vazorwin, are they okay? Are you with me? You seem confused. Let's switch our places. Now, tell me, what are you? What's going on? I'm Vera. I'm a figurine shop cashier. No, no, no. Just tell me what you want. 
I guess... You want to meet Figure Fantasy's most beautiful figurines, right? Yes. So this guy is a grown man who wants to meet beautiful figurines in an app? So why don't you grab your phone and enter the gift code to draw 30 blind boxes for free? Yeah, see for yourself. 30 in a row? Whoa. Good zipper! <laughs> hey, give me my clothes back. Give me my cloth back. Figure fantasy! Demo now! Could they not have just gotten like a more normal voice? That one hurts. Okay, let's see. Number three. Go, 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 go. No. Damn it. You need to tie your room. Okay, mom. I can't hear the music <laughs> too <Yes>. loud. <laughs> One more round. One more round. Wake up and have a meal. Do they voice over these or are they just, is it just off and it seems like, I don't know. And we move, mom. Your baggage has arrived. Frank, come and collect your delivery. Uh, okay. Mom, I'm busy. Please don't. You are playing figure fantasy too? She's playing the game too? Oh, Bambi, go, 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 go. don't do. Bambi, go, 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 stop. Go, go, go. You can't lay on the keyboard, dude. No. Damn it. You go, go lay you somewhere else. You are playing figure fantasy too? Ma, can you get me a zero? Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I love you, Mom. Figure fantasy! Oh, Demo stop! Now. Stop, it hurts. Okay, I don't even know if I want to watch these ones anymore. I mean, what is Rise of Kingdoms doing? After 106 ads, what could they be doing? 50,000? That's just pathetic, man. You should take the next one. Hold the elevator! Ow! <laughs> oh my gosh. 50,000? Not a lot of power. You should take- Hold the elevator! Hold the elevator. You don't want to mess with me. Is this in a world where everybody plays Rise of Kingdoms? Do you know one person in chat? Tell me how many people you know that play Rise of Kingdoms. I don't, I've never met a single person, but everyone in this elevator is familiar with how much is enough power in Rise of Kingdoms. 20 million power? Teach me. Oh man. Teach me. Oh, I know you just have to spend a lot of money in the microtransactions and then you can level up in no time. You just got to spend a lot of time. Man, you chose the wrong civilization to be- <laughs> Why does this guy yell like this? Oh man, you just chose the wrong civilization to begin with. What are you doing, man? Begin with. If you want the upper hand from the get-go, you can't go wrong with the Vikings. The increased capacity for collecting- So in the ad, they're saying that there's a right and wrong choice for what civilization you start with. Resources and the attack and counter attack buff when other beginning players are still farming you'd be ready to invade and when they're finally able to put together an army you'd already be conquering cities with your viking berserkers led by command berserkers your viking berserkers they're ragnar is that the elevator saying there's <laughs> Good no luck, no no let me come on come on Get come on come on the he Black, said no no let me come on come on he said, no, no, let me, come on, come on. No, no, let me, come on, come on. Get ready for the fight. Get ready for the fight. Okay, this is 61. How many ads can you do? Okay, so this one's like an in-person, in-app in ad, like it's animated. If this is the noise, if they just make SpongeBob sound effects the whole app, then maybe this is worth getting. Rise of Kingdoms. So that's just like a normal ad. But then they do these live action ones too. Oh, they have a Mobile Legends Squid Game inspired ad. I didn't know this was allowed. <laughs> this guy sucks at the game. The snake sound effect. 
Download for free. Mobile Legends. Bang bang. I'm sure that's what they do in the Mobile Legends app. I'm sure that's what it is. Ooh, a Rec Room app. I've actually played this game on VR. <gasps> I did it! I won! Congratulations. You! Stay here. Stay there. <gasps> you did it! <gasps> I did it! Juju, my son! Three seconds! Three seconds. Three seconds. <laughs> How much money do you think they spent on this? Oh my god! We they could have at least like staged it and. Move it! Rec Room really was like, this is the best. This is what's gonna convince people to use our game. You know, if we just take this random screen recording of these ladies screaming in a Squid Game ad, that's gonna convince them. Who will foot the bill? Hmm. Whoever is weak will pay. I have a five-star Santa Claus with a combat rating of 15 million. So you pay for it. Mm -hmm. Although I only have an Amaterasu with a combat rating of 10 million, there is a newcomer. Let him pay for it. Hmm. I have a full-star Great Tangu. What? An evil Loki with what? a combat rating of 35 million. Didn't you just start playing yesterday? Why is your combat rating so- Because I spent all my money on the microtransactions and sped up my level. So high. Because I started with 10 consecutive free draws. If you get the best hero, please laugh happily. Because you are so lucky, please upgrade this hero. Because this hero can take you to success. <laughs> my god. Wow, okay. You think they would have the money, you know, if they have the advertising money, they could spend like, what, $100 to put together like a cohesive ad? I mean, it doesn't cost that much. Make me understand what's going on. Another Rise of Kingdoms ad. Boss, I've got good news and bad news. Which one do you want? Bad. The bad news is I made bad. a mistake and accidentally sold all of our resources in the storehouse to our allies. Oh. So is this guy's job that he's really good at Rise of Kingdoms? I love it. And he wears blue shades. And the good news is... And the good news is we've upgraded all of our troops and weapons and we've received invitations to... You see this? All that hard work gone. Troops ain't gonna do us any good. She's going to say we've received an invitation to and then be like this awesome clan where we, we will have everything we want. And he's going to be like, whoa, bazinga. And then it's going to be like rise of kingdoms. That's how it works. We've got no resources to develop nothing. We, um, we received invitations to form an alliance and exclusive information on how to increase power fast. And it's all in that file you just what? threw in the water. The what? British civilization gives the player a 5% attack buff for the archer unit and a 5% boost for the troop upgrade speed. With these unique features, the British archers can take on any infantry unit with ease. Also, Britain is the defensive player that everybody wants on their team. True. It adds 20% increase to the troop capacity for the Alliance. True. Invaders beware. We've got a Brit in the house. <laughs> Just reading the script off the phone. Invaders beware. We've got a Brit in the house. You like my blue sunglasses? or request to join the Alliance. And I love how they're just not showing the actual app. They're just like tracking a screen recording of the app onto Make the sure phone. So it's like shaky. We've got a Brit in the house. Or request to join the Alliance. Make sure you dry them too. Yes, boss. Why are they talking like that? Make sure you dry them too. Yes, boss. Or request to join the Alliance. Make sure you dry them too. Yes, boss. This is not, that's not how people talk. What? What? Maybe they're like from another country and this isn't the language they speak, but like, am I missing something? Is it like that much more expensive? Because you know how much money Rise of Kingdoms has in like advertising power to be able to push these ads out? Like they can't pay a little bit more for an English speaking actor to at least say it correctly or just do it in a different language. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this new episode of Bad Ads. If you want to see more Danny Gonzalez videos, go to my channel below. Thanks for watching and Brofist Greg got Eternity Folks Guy squat um something or the other i don't know